welcome back uh, continuing with the mcq series and again my request to subscribe and to share as well as to like the videos which you find useful so uh, surfactant therapy is indicated in all cases all causes of secondary surfactant deficiency or all cases of secondary surfactant deficiency is it true or false i'll pause for a few seconds formulate your answer so we have discussed the causes of secondary surfactant deficiency as well as what we mean by that earlier uh, where the reuptake of the surfactant is not effective because there is proteinaceous material denaturing the surfactant as in any case of surfactant deficiency the need for replacement happens if the disease is severe enough and you're sure that it is a secondary surfactant deficiency which is contributing in these situations so if the baby has meconium aspiration syndrome and there is a high oxygen requirement the chest x ray shows a closed down lung pattern echo does not reveal pph and then you can consider surfactant the reason is if it is a well inflated lung with pph and giving surfactant may be counterproductive in these babies so uh, even in congenital pneumonia or pulmonary hemorrhage according to the situation you may consider giving uh, surfactant if the oxygen requirement is more than 50% provided you have appropriate saturation target range in your unit uh, obviously if you aim for 98 or 100% you will need more fao2 so that doesn't mean you are using a appropriate saturation targets if you are looking at 95% as a target and you need more than 50% uh, oxygen to deliver it and you rule out pulmonary uh, hypertension as a cause of this oxygen requirement because if it is pphn without a closed down lung giving surfactant may cause hydrogenic pphn aggravating the situation so uh, the answer for this is obviously false and i hope you got it right Thank you.